Okay, um, thank you so much, uh, everyone, for coming to our uh, regular uh, NPA study group meeting. Uh, today, uh, I have chosen a topic, a uh, paper, a paper uh, uh, that is uh, on artificial intelligence. And the title of the uh, paper is very, I mean, very exciting. Could an artificial intelligence agent pass an introductory physics course? Basically, this is uh, the first year uh, introductory physics course stands for the first year undergraduate course uh, uh, in the United States universities and colleges. Uh, in Nepal, it is equivalent to like um, uh, 11th, 12th grade, or slightly higher, let's say. Uh, so uh, yeah, first year, maybe BSc, something like that. Uh, I'm Rudra Kathli, uh, uh, Associate uh, Professor of Teaching uh, at uh, Uster Polytechnic Institute, and also I'm Associate uh, Director of Morgan Teaching Learning Center. Basically, I train the teaching assistant and peer learning assistants in that role. Um, so uh, uh, I have prepared a kind of general overview of the paper. Uh, this paper uh, was written by Gerd Corti Mayer, uh, professor of uh, Michigan State University. Uh, he has also affiliation to uh, 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 some European university. So uh, the research question is, how human-like are the AI responses? Uh, AI stands for artificial uh, intelligence. Uh, basically, uh, in this paper, they are using previous version of chat GPT, chat GPT uh, 3.5 or less. Uh, chat GPT 3.5 is uh, free accessible. It can be accessed freely. But chat GPT 4, uh, if we want to access chat GPT 4, uh, we have to pay for that. So how human-like are the AI responses when it comes to dialogues about physics, in particular, about the standard content of introductory physics courses? So that is their uh, research question. Uh, what did they do? Uh, the study investigates chat GPT's performance on different kinds of assessment problems in first year calculus-based course by using the January 9, 2023 release of the system, that is a version of chat GPT for all course assessments and a newer version, February 13, 2023, release for an analysis of the consistence of the FCI responses. FCI st stands for Force Concept Inventory. Basically, this is a kind of standardized test. Uh, once uh, this test is uh, can be accessed by any educator. Uh, so once you go to fisport.org, uh, then uh, you need to sign in there, make an account. So you can download. They will send a passcode there. Uh, but uh, there, there are some uh, something you need to accept like that. I will not share this publicly, those kind of things, right? So uh, they uh, basically assess uh, these components in this research. Uh, uh, they were scored like uh, on uh, multiple choice questions, uh, homework, uh, clicker questions, uh, programming exercises and exams. This is a long paper probably. I posted this paper in NPA study group uh, messenger inbox. Probably uh, you got opportunity to look into the paper. So, uh, how was the AI performance in homework? Uh, by the way, uh, uh, what what they do, what they do is basically uh, the researcher asks question, right? Uh, uh, there there are questions. Uh, I'm not very clear whether the researcher himself or the students they ask questions there, and then Chat GPT answers. Like right? so, there is interaction between uh, the uh, uh, researchers and the uh, Chat GPT, uh, and uh, uh, so in homework, uh, Chat GPT solved 55% of the homework problem using an average of 1.88 attempts. There, uh, Chat GPT was allowed to answer multiple times. So that is the average attempts, 1.88. So it got 48% on the problems uh, involving trajectory, uh, motion, and friction, such as inclines, correct. So 48% correct in uh, this category's problem, 68% in thermodynamics problems, like engines, heat capacities, et cetera. 62% on capacitance, like uh, plate capacitors, capacitors in series and parallel, and 36% on spatial relativity problems. The discrepancy between the scores on the problem set was not so much, 
caused by the different physics concepts, but rather related to the mathematics involved. Uh, chat GPT had persistent problems manipulating and calculating formulas involving square roots. I will demonstrate that also in chat GPT. I have also uh, logged in chat GPT uh, after this presentation. Uh, we do informal uh, uh, chat there in the chat GPT and I'll show what does that mean. So by the way, uh, chat GPT-4, uh, one of my colleague has subscribed chat GPT-4 and uh, uh, we uh, asked the same questions. I asked for chat GPT-3.5, he asked chat GPT-4 uh, and chat GPT-4 did much better job, more accuracy, right? So these packages are uh, uh, like uh, improving day by day, right? In For every newer version. So uh, regarding clicker questions, ChatGPT correctly solved 10 out of 12 questions. Uh, within the actual course, uh, uh, participation in clicker discussion was encouraged by grading 60% credit for false answer, maybe just for trying, and 100% credit for correct answers. So the clicker score of ChatGPT would be 93%. This score is a lot better than most students in the actual course achieved. Right. So what does it tell us that? Chat GPT did better job than our students. I mean, the students uh, in that university, in that uh, research group. However, it is important to know that the students in the course were just learning the new concepts while Chat GPT at any point in time is done with learning unless explicitly trained because this is basically the trained language, right? So uh, sometimes I ask uh, Chat GPT, uh, do you feel emotions? Uh, like human being and chat GPT says that I'm sorry, I cannot do that. I'm just not like human. I am a pre-trained uh, language, something like that. So uh, the next question is, um, uh, how was the uh, performance in uh, uh, AI performance in uh, the programming? Chat GPT performed much better than many of the students in the course, in spite of them having extensive collaboration opportunities. In this component of the course, chat GPT achieved 70% uh, plus 20%, which is equal to 90%. So the, the details are there. Uh, I'll show you uh, uh, later uh, the paper, okay? So the next is, how was the AI performance in exams? Uh, exam performance, uh, uh, like uh, when uh, uh, si uh, simply looking at the answer correctness, chat GPT scored 14 out of 30 points. That is about 47%. Now, based on all this, uh, what is the grade? What grade we, uh, I mean, chat GPT can uh, score? Uh, exam only based grade. If the course grade would have only depended on the exams, chat GPT would have received a grade of one out of four in the course with zero being the lowest grade and four being the best grade. So chat GPT would have barely gotten credit for the course. That means chat GPT would not have passed the course at least 2.0 grade point average is required for graduation, right? That is the requirement uh, in, the, uh, in that uh, research uh, uh, university. So uh, in the fourth concept inventory, chat GPT scored uh, 18 out of 30 points on the fourth concept inventory uh, text. Uh, by the way, uh, the version of the chat GPT they use uh, cannot read the graphs, cannot read the pictures, figures. So they uh, translated they translated the, I mean, the, they described the uh, questions in graphs and, uh, and, and, and figures in words and, uh, uh, and, and then let the chat GPT do answer on, based on that. So got 60% uh, uh, in that uh, fourth concept inventory. This score corresponds to the suggested entry threshold for Newtonian physics. So uh, in overall uh, grading policies, like, I mean, this is, uh, I mean, I have, written directly from the paper, right? So uh, this is uh, in that research paper, what they mentioned about the course grade. So uh, grading policies for the course change over the years, but a typical scenario would be 20% homework, 5% clicker, 5% programming exercises, and 70% exams. This would result, so 20% of 55%, because chat GPT scored 55%, so which is 0.2 out of that, and 0 0.05 to 93%, which is for from clicker, from clicker and 0 0.05, which is 5% for programming, uh, they gave 90%, and 0 0.7 uh, for a uh, percent, uh, 0.7 of, not percent, 0.7 of 47% uh, for the other component, that is, uh, I believe, exams. 
So uh, in total, that's the grand total, let's say, the grand total of their grade is 53.05%, which would have resulted in a course grade of 1.5. That means chat GPT is, will not pass the course. Not enough, enough for the course credit, but pulling down the grade point average from what would be needed for graduation. So in, if chat GPT would have been better at carrying out uh, numerical operations, it would have reached 60%, resulting in a 2.0. So depending on the development priorities of OpenAI, the boggy mathematical functionality could be remedied in the near future, leading to AI that could graduate college with a minimal degree if it performed similarly on other courses. So this is becoming more and more probable as ChatGPT is making headlines for passing exams in other subjects. By the way, what is the crux of the matter the, uh, 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 is this, actually. AI does human-like responses in several cases, not 100%, not 100%. So ChatGPT would narrowly pass a calculus-based introductory physics course while exhibiting many of the preconceptions and errors of a beginning learner. Again, I would like to remind you that this was the older version, 2, 2.5, 3, something like, up to 3, I believe, right? So uh, for the later version, the story might uh, uh, might change. So uh, uh, my uh, uh, recommendation, also, we can also do one thing that, we can also do uh, this kind of research in our colleges, schools, and universities. Uh, one thing I would like to show you here is before uh, we go to informal discussion, I would like to show you something here uh, about uh, not the Facebook, but uh, something else. So uh, uh, American Physical Society Journal, Physics, uh, Physical Review, Physics, Education, Research has uh, uh, see this uh, call for papers for focus uh, collection of physics, physical review, uh, physics education research, AI tools in physics teaching and PR. So this is a right time if we can do some experiments and uh, can collaborate in writing, uh, in authoring the papers. We have some results. So this is a very uh, right time. Uh, another thing before I uh, we go to informal discussion is this one. So this is, uh, this is the paper. Could an artificial intelligence as in pass the introductory course? So basically, uh, there are a lot of uh, a lot of chats between the author, between the author and the chat GPT. So we'll discuss this uh, kind of informally. So with that, uh, I would like to thank you again for uh, coming to this meeting. So uh, I'd like to just uh, stop recording and so, uh, we'll uh, informally discuss on the uh, on the on, on this topic. Okay, so thank you.